Here's a quick review on special right triangles. For this video, we're focusing on the 45-45-90 special right triangle. So let's start with a right triangle. And the two acute angles are 45 degrees, which means our base angles are congruent. The sides opposite will be congruent. So if one leg is length A, the other leg will also be length A because this is an isosceles triangle. The question is, what will the length of the hypotenuse be? We can use the Pythagorean theorem to find out. The Pythagorean theorem is c squared equals a squared plus b squared, where c is the hypotenuse. So let's solve for c by taking the square root of both sides. So c will be the square root of a squared plus b squared, but in this case, a and b are equal. So I can replace b with a, and if I add these two a squareds, I get c equals the square root of two a squared. A squared, though, is a perfect square, so I can take that outside of the radical. Square root 2, nothing I can do with it. So our hypotenuse is a times the square root of 2, which means that whenever I have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, as long as I know a leg length, I can find both other sides of the triangle. Leg is a, hypotenuse is a times the square root of 2. So let's look at some examples. In our first example, we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and I know one side is 5, one leg is 5. So the other leg will also be 5 because it's isosceles, and then you just multiply by the square root of 2. So the hypotenuse is 5 square root 2. It is that easy. In our second example, I also know a leg length. So just like in the previous example, the other leg will also be 4 square root 2. But we have to be careful when we calculate our hypotenuse because it's 4 square root 2 times the square root of 2. So I'm going to do a little scratch work to remind us how to do that. So we take 4 square root 2 times square root 2, and square root 2 times square root 2 is just 2. So 4 times 2 is 8. So my hypotenuse is just 8. Let's try an example now where I know the hypotenuse, but I'm trying to find the leg length. So in this example, my hypotenuse is 10. If to get to the hypotenuse, I multiply by the square root 2. So to get back to the leg length, we're just going to divide by the square root 2. So each of those legs is 10 over square root 2. But I have to rationalize that denominator. I can't have an irrational number in a denominator. So I'm going to multiply by 1, but a special version of 1, the square root 2 over square root 2. Multiply across for the numerators, you get 10 square root 2. But the denominators, the square root 2 times the square root 2 is 2. Nice rational number. I can reduce it, though. 10 over 2 is 5, so each leg length is 5 times the square root of 2. And that's basically all there is to it. So if you know the leg length, the other leg will be a as well. It will be the same length. And the hypotenuse will be the leg length times the square root of 2. If you know the hypotenuse length, you're going to be dividing by the square root of 2. And just be careful that you might have to rationalize that denominator. And again, you can review just that previous example we had, but don't forget to do that. But that's basically it for the 45-45-90 special right triangle. Thank you for watching, and I hope this is helpful to you.